Hey, so <clears throat> today we're going to be talking about a few things that have been going on recently. For starters, Trump's been elected. Oh my goodness, I know. Terrifying. Terrifying. Absolutely tragic that he's in. However, good news that there's a lot of uh, left wing tears that have happened through him being elected in the democracy that they've been so triumphantly triumphantly been claiming is at risk. Isn't it weird, weird under democracy when Trump is elected it's a problem but for some reason when democracy is only for left-wing pe people then it's all okay. So it, it's all good but Trump no not at all. Anyway so what I wanted to do today is look at a bunch of videos of people crying. Because <laughs> why not? Anywho, so I was just browsing YouTube and I think it was Tim Pool I was watching. And he, he made note that it was Cassandra McDonald here who has a bunch of videos as we can see here however uh, they're further down now obviously I've seen a bunch of these videos already so a lot of these isn't gonna be new for me however a lot of them I haven't seen so I'm looking forward to to my reaction to those videos to be honest uh, so let us check out this first one if you've lost faith in humanity clap your hands if you've lost faith in humanity, and this is your villain origin story, if you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. <coughs> Obviously, I've seen this one. <laughs> this has been everywhere. This is... I love it. I love seeing people scream over things that are just... How tragic. Better grocery prices. Oh no! Uh, funny. Alrighty. Oh, this one's uh, been deleted. What are you screaming about? I'm so glad you guys got your cheap ass groceries and your cheap ass fucking gas because you're fucking broke as shit. You're fucking broke! You're fucking broke! Broke! I said I'm fucking doing serious! You're fucking broke! I'm so glad you guys- <laughs> What? Um, is this meant to be like... Yes, we, we are broke. Um, actually, I'm, I'm Canadian, so I technically can't speak for them. However, I'm also broke. But, uh, yeah, we, we are broke. We, we don't want to keep on paying too much for too much at <laughs> like prices have gone up exponentially under Biden and Harris so uh yeah we are broke and we do want someone who's going to lower those things so you're right all right time to go on <laughs> oh just just crying okay also another thing is <clears throat> I agree with Tim Pool they're just crying for theatrics it's another TikTok trend where once someone does a dance, then everybody else does it. But now it is with crying. We have people crying for attention. And I think that's just a statement for the world that we live in today, where people crying is so monotonous with trendy that they're willing to do it just easily. Like, they cry for attention, it's like, get a job. Ay, ay, ay. Explaining to men that they could have had, <clears throat> but they chose celibacy instead. Alright, interesting, let's see it. You're not very pretty, and you're not very bright. That is copyrighted. Um... I think I've, I think I've, I've seen this argument to the whole entire... Uh, women choosing to close up their legs now because, you know, of the, uh, 
baby issue. I can't say that word on, I don't, can I say that word on YouTube? I don't even know anymore. Like, what words can I say and what words can't I say? It's like such a minefield, but pff, that word is probably a mine in and of itself. But they're, it's probably just one of those ladies are now going to close up their legs because Trump is in, but like, good. Stop having, stop having kids when you're not prepared for it. Stop it. Grow up and use protection. Or just don't have coitus with each other. Like, you're an adult. You should be above your own personal am and ambitions to seek a higher thing. Which is having kids with someone who you are prepared to have kids with rather than just having coitus for the sake of having it. Oh boy, what is this? Is that a... Is that a man? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is that, is that a man? Ah! Ah! I can't even tell. Ah! 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 <laughs> Hold on, look at this. They scream. Ah! <laughs> they cover their mouth like they're embarrassed or something from them screaming. Like, you chose to do this. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you screaming? And then you're like, <gasps> did anybody hear me? Like, <laughs> why are you screaming? Uh, oh, oh, wow, that is, that is animal a booze right there. We got. Wow. Thanks, bud. What? What? Why? What did the cat do? What did the cat do to deserve that? I, what? I'm gonna be honest for a second. I thought <clears throat> I thought she was gonna go in for like a raspberry, but she decided to scream in his in his overweight tummy. And like, what did the cat do to deserve this? Oh boy! See, a lot of these people just need to grow up, like. They're crying. They're crying for attention. Like, I didn't know cheaper gas was better than women's rights, but the system fails us once again. You're wrong. It is gas prices and food. That's a joke, if none of y'all could tell. But the point is, like, it says nothing, like, I like how you put the whole entire umbrella over women's rights. Or for like, just gas is above the entire umbrella of women's rights. But, uh, no. Certain things trump other things. For one, people being able to live and eat trumps your ability to go to the hospital and... A baby. Like, sorry. Don't care about your ability to do that. Like, how about you just close up your legs and not have unprotected or just coitus for the sake of having coitus. Like, just stop having it. Or do it with someone who you're prepared to have a kid with. How about that? But I guess math fails America once again or something like that. It's not math, but just common sense, you know? Oh, boy. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, and suddenly the words, I cancelled out my dad's vote came out of my mouth. Okay. Which is weird because she thought her father would always protect her and her rights. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> you could have left out that whole entire first point and just you could have just left it at that. That would have been that would have made the whole entire TikTok actually worth it, but what does this have anything to do with this? But like the whole entire thing of you canceling out his vote is pointless. Partially because there is always someone else who is gonna replace his vote because, you know, more Republicans, because yeah, Trump is better, but, um, also, so, here's the funny thing, you cancelled out his vote, but his vote also cancelled out yours. So, technically, neither of you voted for women's rights, apparently, in this election, so... Okay. Anywho. Okay. I don't know who I I keep on forgetting like music artists' names, but I I I know who this is. I just can't put a name on it. Who likes her music? It's all boring. <laughs> That's the only word I have for her music. It's boring. That's it. That's all I have to say for it. Uh, anyway, so I feel like I just let my students, my black boyfriend, my LGBTQ friends and family, and many more, um, any other words? No, just crying. Alright. More crying. How did, did you vote Trump? How did you let down your black boyfriend when I'm assuming you voted for Kamala? How did you let down your black boyfriend, even though, you know, Trump has a good majority of black people voting for him? Uh, don't know how that works. That math is a little bit, a little bit odd. But anywho, um... Yeah, alright, what is this one? <laughs> it's all an act. After her, after she had a screaming fit, she went right back into just singing along to the music. Like, it's all an act. There's no genuinity to it, if that's even a word. I was this. I don't know how many people follow me. I voted for Trump. I know there's probably a few, but I just don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. I am like so. Upset right now, and I hope that it just means that, like, it's one of those things where it's like always darkest before the light, or whatever, or it's always darkest before it goes pitch black. I have felt this heart sinking feeling so many times before I've been the underdog. The one on the losing team. The person holding on to every ounce of faith that this... What did it say? That... Oh. Faith that this time, things would be different. You guys had four years to come up with a better plan than Kamala. Don't give me this bull... Bullshit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh... So, this morning, I'm letting myself cry. Sometimes honoring your feelings is the only way through them. Or you can just grow up. That's also a possibility. Okay. Guys, how the f*** are we back here again? How the f*** are we back in this same situation again? No, actually, you're not. Because now... There's too many people who are watching the news like a hawk and watching the polls like a hawk. So there's too many people to, uh, you know, <clears throat> rig it. 
so no we're not back here again we're just having a rendition because uh you know once again where did the uh tw other 12 million votes that went to biden go where did they go we don't know but apparently now they're not there so either a bunch of people aren't voting which could be possible depending or the more likely options that they just you know bumped it up a bit to make it look like they were actually there or not you know just random people voting quote unquote who the fuck is voting for him I genuinely guys how the f i, I would have but i'm canadian so i can't vote for him but however if i was there i would have been one of them so great oh 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 man I'm not going to turn that audio on because I can assume it's just more... Oh, Billie Eilish, that's the name. Yeah, boring music. Um, I am getting too political. I'm sorry. I'm living in a place that cares more about the cost of their bananas than about people like me losing everything. I'm sorry, who are you? Like, you look like a they-them, so... I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who you are. I can't fight for you if I don't know you. I don't care to know about you, to be honest, but... How does one fight for th something that doesn't exist? Don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, you got the nose pier- You got the nose piercing, the eyebrow peering, piercing. You got piercings. You got a lot of that. Okay, eh. All right, well, I think I'll get with the point. Left people will be crazy people, like they always do. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait until, uh, things start changing in America. It'll be, it'll be a pretty fun time. But, uh, anyway, I hope y'all have a good rest of your day, and goodbye.